In this video, we're going to explore the notification settings inside of Google Classroom. Google Classroom notifications are delivered in two different ways. They can come as email notifications to your Gmail inbox, or if you have the Google Classroom app installed on your mobile device, you will also receive notifications on your phone. If you have a lot of classrooms and you have a lot of students, you could get bombarded with these alerts. You can change some of the settings inside of Google Classroom to reduce the number of notifications you receive. Here I'm logged in as a teacher in the upper left left hand corner I'll find the main menu. From there I'll click on settings and this will take me to my overall notification settings. The first setting you're going to see is to receive any email notifications. If I turn off this option I will receive no more settings at all. That's usually not what people want. Instead you can be more specific about which types of notifications you want to receive. As a teacher you're going to have a section for comments, classes you teach, and overall class notifications. The first under comments, comments on your post, typically people want to turn those off. This is where a lot of notifications come from. Every time somebody makes a comment to one of your posts, you receive an email notification. That's a lot of extra noise. The other two options, comments that mention you, so if somebody uses the at symbol and includes your name, you'll get an email saying somebody mentioned you. This doesn't happen very often, so usually people want to leave that on. Private comments on work. That happens when students send you a private comment on an assignment. Typically this doesn't happen very often, but when they do happen, it's something you want to give attention to quickly. I typically recommend to keep that one on. So off for the first First one on for the second two. The next section, classes you teach, is just for teachers, not for students. The first two, late submissions and resubmission homework, those two also create a lot of alerts, both as email and on your mobile device. I would suggest turning those off. If you're worried about missing out on some sort of submission from a student, what I suggest is instead from your Google Classroom page, click on the to review option and that'll show any assignments that are turned in and need to be reviewed. That way you don't have to worry about missing something. Thing. You don't really need an alert to tell you that. You can usually get that from this page here. So to find the assignments that need your attention, click on the main menu and then click to review and that'll take you to this page to show you all the assignments that are ready for you to review. So for that reason, my suggestion is to disable these two options. That way you reduce the number of emails you get. The next option is invitations to co-teach a class. That's going to happen very rarely. It's not a lot of noise to keep that one on. Scheduled posts published or failed. I've never really seen a post fail. It's up to you if you want to be notified when a scheduled post has been published. That could be just a little extra white noise, so it's up to you if you want to keep that on or off. Additionally, under class notifications, if you expand that section, you're going to see a switch, an on-off switch, for every class that you are a co-teacher on or a teacher on. You can use this to disable all notifications from a specific class. This is handy if you're a special education co-teacher or if you're a specials teacher, an art teacher, and you just want to post to a class once a week or so. You can disable all notifications from the classes where you're not the primary teacher. These are the settings for a teacher. Now I'm going to hop over to a student view to show you the special settings that students have. In the student view, I have the option to disable all notifications, but I also have the same comment sections that a teacher has. But what is unique for students is they have these classes you're enrolled in section. If the students are complaining about too many alerts or too many emails hitting their inbox, one option is to disable the first option. Work and other posts from teachers. It could be they don't need to get an email every time you make an assignment. They can check their Google Classroom for that. I would suggest keeping the next three options on. When work is returned or a grade is given, they should probably receive a message for that, particularly with returned work. Invitations should happen mostly at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the semester, so this shouldn't be too overwhelming to keep this one on. The due date reminders is very interesting. This gives them an alert 24 hours before an assignment is due. One suggestion for teachers, when you create an assignment, you have the option to give it a due date. You also have the option to give it a due time. I suggest giving it a due time. Otherwise, if a student has four assignments due on Thursday and the teacher hasn't included a time, Google Classroom will assume that midnight is that due date. So 24 hours prior on Wednesday at midnight, the student's going to receive four alerts letting them know that they have four assignments due the following day. So at midnight, their phone's going to blow up with all these alerts or they're going to get four emails. What I suggest as a teacher is to include a reasonable time for all of your assignments. That way they'll receive the alerts at 6 p.m. or 9 p.m. instead of midnight. And again, just like teachers under class notification, they can enable or disable all notifications for a particular class. Remember, the settings are controlled separately on your email and on your phone. So from the Chrome browser, I'm able to modify the email notifications, but on your mobile device, on your phone or your tablet, you're going to want to also 
check your settings on the app on that device because you're gonna have a separate set of settings there as well. All the same settings, one for the email notifications, one for the app notifications. That should give you everything you need to control notifications inside of Google Classroom. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.